Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of D-Ray's Garage where today we're going to do a quick oil change on a CT4V Blackwing. Yes, that's the new Cadillac, the 2022 model, uh, somewhat derived from the old uh, ATS, -T ATS family, I think. Uh, cool car, got a lot of fun uh, twin turbo action to it and we'll show you the car later on. This is the break-in oil change, we're doing it around 1300 miles and we're putting in some AMS oil, so we're putting in some really good fluid so we know we can beat the crap out of it as we go forward. Watch and learn, everyone. All right, so we've got a 15 millimeter drain plug right here. Not a lot of room, as you can see, so you just kind of got to go with a little stubby 15 socket, and then we'll just crack it. That one's good. Not crazy on the factory side, I like that. And then the question is whether you're going to see a bunch of oil in the face, depending how frisky this sucker's feeling this morning. So, and then how much of it goes down my arm, which is always a fun part of this exercise, too. So what I do is I keep a little pressure, like push forward on the bolt, and when I feel like you see that little drip there, I'm getting ready to kind of release and pull my hand back. Like that, and oh, went over just a hair, but it looks like I'm urinating on you. What a win. All right, that's the plug out. So we'll let that run here for 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll tackle the filter here once it's uh, a kind of a slow down on that drip. Yeah, I'm gonna be ready. Good clean oil. All right, so now we're gonna tackle this cartridge here. I do love a cartridge change because you're just not having to change out the O-rings and make a whole mess. Um, but just observe how this is the lip, which on this side is fine, but over here, we're definitely seeing a spot where we could make a bit of a mess. So I am just going to put, I'm trying to get this in without getting in the way it might be an adventure, but I just want that in there just to give us a little insurance on that. And you know, it'll probably spin off or something crazy. Now you need a, is this the 73 or 74 you want to need on, you need on this? 73. So you want to, this is a 73 uh, fluter. I think it's 16 15, sides. 15 fluter. 15. And this is actually 76 because it's from my Porsche. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of this towel and kind of create some extra thickness in here so we can just slot it on the end here and that will hopefully be just enough to snug it up which it is so you can see how we've got that good and snug on there and then we'll, we'll get a uh, whatever appropriate length of extension there so we can get in and just work just behind this little subframe bar So that was strike two. Let's see what happens when we bring out this fella. Just a strap that we can hopefully tighten on here. And then I need to make sure I'm facing the right way. Let's, let's see if we've got any love on this guy. Um, There we go. Move, yeah, there we go. Oh, yes. Man versus filter. Filter wins or loses. Just went a couple of good rounds. Landed some punches. Oh, look at that. You see that? You can see how the blue towel here is filling up with oil, as feared. So I'm going to give that a second. And then when it's out of there, I am going to clean this pan because. That's, uh, you know, they give you great access, but they forgot to remember where the fluid's going to go. So what are you going to do? Come on, engineers. You're better than this. Please. All right. Ooh, baby. Good 
to tell you about eye protection, right? Only want that because stuff's hot. And your vision really is very useful for products like this. Oh, that's heavy. That would have made a splash if I had that sucker. Woohoo! All right. Well, you know the drill. You can. You'll obviously. Uh, I'll come back online once the uh, the drippage is diminished, and we'll clean this up, and then we'll button her up before we can put oil in up top. Okie dokie. So we've uh, we're about twenty minutes into letting this drain out. There's just uh, little drips here. So I'm gonna put the, actually put this uh, bolt in first, just because um, I actually have room without the filter there to torque this down as I need to. So just. Uh, Always start these uh, bolts, fasteners, with aluminum blocks by hand. You do not want to cross-thread this. That is an expense that is not worth it. Save your money for fun car bits. Now we're going to torque this down to 20, uh, was it 25 newton meters? So we're going to go to 25 newton meters, which is also about um, 18 foot-pounds, 18 and a half foot-pounds. Uh, let me switch this to tighten. Come on, baby. All right, and then just support a bit. Oh, look at that sweat pour out for you. That's how much YouTube work is. All right, and that's it. It's not a lot. Then we're gonna spin on the filter here, which is this, uh, just a reminder, I took a picture of it. It's a PF63 filter. And I'm just gonna give these threads one last little Wipe pre oil the gasket on know. the housing, and then wherever you've got these rubber rims, whether it's a regular housing and you've got a, a new o ring or you've got one of these, just use your finger. And I'm gonna actually redo this one because it's such a thick gasket, I want to make sure it's good and lubricated there. And why do you do that? Because you don't want it to bind, Cause it's gonna go on a mating surface, and that oil just helps you get that spin and so the o-ring or in this case the gasket doesn't get stuck bind and then pull off of its unit which again would create more problems for you so this is where i'm feeling engagement i'm gonna mark all blue on blue this will be fun i'm gonna try and see that in three quarters or 45 minutes after that so you want a three quarter turn after you feel that gasket engage i think i'm about 35 minutes right now Come on. All right. So we're right here. So that is at 45. And of course, if you do have the the correct flute, the 7315 pointer, you'll uh, you'll have an easier time there. But all right. So we got uh, Amos Oil 5W30 going in here. It's the synthetic motor oil. I'll take a picture of it as well and flash it on the screen for you. Uh, kind of coming back around to this motive tool again it's 2302 we're going to put those seven quarts using this fun fun little fun oil and look at that golden fluid just pouring into the motor so satisfying a little asmr here for your oil change videos First one, you can kind of go a little gangbusters, and then we're gonna set that in there upside down just to let it flood out while we get the other one ready. 6.6 .6 liters, so we're gonna put uh, seven gallons in. So we're gonna put three quarters, or three quarts, of uh, this next one in. So we'll be basically pouring until we're down to this mark on this fresh jug we're gonna start pouring. And that will be the full seven quarts that the factory says is capacity. All right, six, eight. All right so we're in at six eight. We're going to uh, work the dipstick here and let's see uh, what level we're actually at. So let's look at it fresh. Oh, it's got good flex in it. I just want to see that end, this end. So I don't know how much of this will actually come out on camera, but there's, there's hash marks there. That's too low. That would be too high. And then you have a dot at the bottom for low, mid, and high level or full. So that's what we're going to be looking for when we pull that out is uh, where the oil is hitting on there. Might have flipped it, flip it around so I can see the other side. All right, so we're definitely, you can see that dot's got oil on it. We are, we're not adding more. I think we're just a skosh above the full line, but once we get back on the ground and run the motor, it'll fill up the filter. 
uh, once we've done that, I think we're going to be pretty much perfect here. And that was uh, six, 6.8, 6.8 quarts. quarts. Yeah. 6.8 quarts at that. So we've got a little bit of spare. So if, uh, you know, if we run the car and I uh, would check it again and we want to just top it up with that last one, we can do that. But, uh, definitely we're well over the minimum line here. Okay. So your Dexos is going to be running kind of front to back on your car. It's not a screw top so much as kind of like a, it's a half quarter, turn. A half turn. Half turn lock. The last step in the process is to do the oil life reset through the maintenance window on the dash. Uh, go over to oil life, hold down the scroll wheel. It'll pop up reset engine oil. Click the button. It'll ask you to confirm. Click again. And oil life is now back to 100%. So there it is, CT4V Blackwing oil change complete. Seven quarts out, seven quarts back in. Shiny new blue filter on the bottom there. And all pretty straightforward all in all. Got some nice Amsoil 5W30 in there. So break-ins through, I can take it over 4K RPM. And uh, let's let this bad boy rip. Good luck with your projects, everyone. Be memorable, be well. And I hope to see you on another video soon. Bye now.